rip my menchies because we're talking about Rose Hanberry again. She is in the news because the Princess of Raves is here. Side note, the idea of Princess Kate with like handmade bracelets and enjoying some candy before just losing her shiz in a crowd is kind of epic. Quick note for all those, call her by her actual name. It's Catherine, the Princess of Wells. This article even refers to her as Kate Middleton. Don't blame me, blame SEO. Apparently she was at an upper class 24 hour music festival. I can't decide if that's like the next Jordan Peele movie or if that would be fun. I, I don't know, you weigh in. With her friend, Rose Hanberry, the Marchioness of Chumley. Yes, it's pronounced like that guy from Pawn Stars and not whatever the heck these letters are supposed to mean. But we gotta add in that she had to be persuaded because like least we think Kate wanted to just let loose. If you missed my deep dive into Rose, Kate, and Prince William, you can find it under my pinned videos. It's a look at the timeline and how the media covered this rift. This story was broken in a now deleted post in the spring of 2019 by none other than Dan Wooten. The story was about a rural rift between two friends, Kate and Rose. It said nothing about an affair. This is also when I learned about the Turnip Toff set and my mind map is somewhere on here about that. It's worth a watch. Naturally, the rumors became speculation that there was an affair and that's why Kate was mad because women be fighting over men. Famously, this was all but outlawed in the British press. It's actually in the American press that talks about a potential affair. Interestingly, the law firm that represented William went with the whole, he's having his human rights invaded and that's why they needed to stop. Not that what they were saying was wrong. And again, I'm not saying an affair is true. I actually think an affair within an aristocratic circle is one of the least scandalous things that could happen. And I think there's a reason that Dan was the one that had this story. Dan did not start out as a royal reporter. And yet this wildly huge potential scoop comes his way. And then he and the son willingly delete it and never talk about it again. Could it have been for a promised bigger scoop in the future? Maybe about a little brother and his wife? Because least we forget it was Dan that broke the story that Meghan and Harry were stepping back as working royals. How do you get that info that was only privy to like the King, Prince William, and a few choice aides? There are a lot of threads there, but I still need to untangle them. My revised hot take is that Dan, as we know, was very good at gathering information on people for blackmail. Could similar skills have been used in this situation to either get the scoop or to ensure that if it was totally squashed and removed from the sun, that he would get something better in return? The math ain't mathin'. Ever since, the media has been desperate to act like there's no there there. Nothing happened, there's, there's never been a problem here. A lot of people pointed to the fact that her husband, David Rock Savage, excellent name, was made the King's Lord in Waiting. He was also the Lord Great Chamberlain under Queen Elizabeth, which people speculated it was taken away from him because of this affair rumor, but it wasn't. It naturally changes as the head of the monarchy changes. So this is another example of a story that is like leaving out some really significant details about why anyone should care about Rose Hanberry or what the background might be on these individuals. So she's out in Norfolk where William and Kate have a house, Amner Hall. Also a popular spot where Charles and Camilla used to have their dalliances. There's something about that country air. <clears throat> and she was dining with David and Rose. Prince William was absent. Maybe he had royal duties, but I think it's summertime, so they all have off, but just interesting to note. And apparently at that dinner that included David, Rose, and others, they suggested, like, you should go to the festival. And they make it clear that Catherine was nervous about this and made sure she had extra protection and, you know, dotted her I's and crossed her T's. Honestly, I want the story that's like, Catherine throws down her champagne and she's like, F yeah, let's go. I am team unwind. Honestly, I looked at photos and this looked very cool. This paragraph though. Catherine's lively night out is just the latest example of the warm friendship between the future king and queen and the Chumleys, nicknamed the Turnip Toffs, who live just a few miles from their Norfolk retreat, Amner Hall. Hmm. And I think this is latest in a line of nothing to see here. Because if you know nothing of these allegations, it's like, yeah, sure, they're friends with other rich people who are titled to land because of who their great, 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 great grandfathers were. It's really not a story unless you know the backstory. And the story here really isn't if they're hanging out. It's why is it out there now? 
because this info was put out there for a reason. And it's written in a very positive way. Kate is not scolded for doing an activity that maybe it could have been hard to protect her. Like there's, they are very careful that this is pro Kate. Because if it wasn't, this would be a story about Kate letting loose without her husband. Is there trouble in paradise? That is not the story and I'm not suggesting that is reality. But as about Dre said in his video where he tagged me, there's been this interesting thing going on in the media with kind of a fight over who was actually trying to mend fences with Harry. Is it Kate working behind the scenes making late night phone calls or is it William that's extending the olive branch and actually Kate is the one that can't get over her feud with Megan or whatever. Which is interesting because it's like almost a battle between the couples and it doesn't seem like they're working together to reach an agreement with Harry. It's very much a media opportunity to point to one of them as stars or leaders for different reasons. William is the future king and they need Kate to be a very popular future queen because Camilla is not the moment. So they are molding her in this image of another Queen Elizabeth. Which, yeah, makes sense. But why this story and why now? We'll have to see if there's any more developments on this, but I got my eye on you. I don't know how or why you got that rural rift story or why you were so willing to pull it along with the sun, but I will find out.